everybody, this is Christmas and today is the 12th day of April. But, but before we start the Thailand video, I'm going to uh, just put the videos in the third place for the last few days. The last video I was able to record was on the 8th, but since then I've been away on the So, this is a trip for the screen channel. It's a little bit of a screen channel. right off the bat that this one was not my favorite one either I mean it's definitely a step up from gigantic which is definitely the least favorite most most hated out of the series so far but I don't know I really liked the idea at the start but then I just felt like I couldn't quite pull it off and I think it might be because it's like a close-up so it's really hard to detail without it kind of overcrowding because I guess, I mean, it's easy enough to detail when it's far away because you can see the whole picture, but when it's close up, it's like if you detail it too much, it just doesn't quite work. But then if you don't detail it enough, like, all the values are, like, out of whack. And I don't know how, like, recognisable it even is as a robot. Maybe I should have added more of, like, the pipes and stuff, which I usually do, and, like, buttons and that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> but as far as the actual idea, I did like it, so I hadn't... So it's like a close-up of a robot's face. It's got big, big, cute little buck teeth. And um, it's like looking at its eye. And its eye is the part which is shattered. So the idea is the eye is made of kind of glass. And it's got these LEDs underneath. And the glass is shattered and you can see kind of it, some of it falling away. And I think it looks a bit like tears, which is kind of interesting. And then you can see the little LEDs on the bottom. And it is kind of wearing away a bit, but uh, the mistake I made was I wore away the eye, but I didn't wear away any of the teeth or anything else. And the teeth will be more likely to wear away because they are like protruding, so that's a bit unrealistic. And I added in the textured background, which I still really like. And then another thing which I liked was like I tried to um, incorporate, kind of like blended in by um, putting by using the brush marker in, in on the actual robot as well as part of the detailing. And I think that actually worked really well. But it still didn't quite stand out well, even after I'd like outlined it all with like a 0.3. So then like I used like a 0.6 outliner to um, just do some really bold outlines and I think it worked a bit better but it still kind of made it, like it still looks kind of imbalanced and I really don't know what to do about it so I'm just going to leave it the way, the way it's finished but yeah it's a bit disappointing when you have a good idea and it doesn't turn out well I guess. But, I mean, I guess that's the good thing about this because, especially because this one didn't take too long, it always means that if I'm ever out of ideas in my sketchbooks, then I can maybe come back to this and revisit it and spend a lot longer polishing it up so it looks good and then I won't be disappointed anymore because it's like I've gained something from both of them. Also, I'm just going to apologise right now because there was a really dramatic light lighting change. So that's because I was doing this in the kind of afternoon slash evening and then I, I realised it was getting too dark for me to see without squinting so I turn on the map but it looks a bit weird now. Um well that's alright. And oh yeah the materials I use for this I use a 0.1 and a 0.3 uni pin pen and I really like those. I used to use um outlines for like for um drawing um but I think uni pens work better for me because they're a lot more solid. But I mean, I do use an Artline 0.6 just because it goes really fast and it still looks really solid. But it's quite thick, so I mean, obviously it will be solid. And I use oh yeah, um, for the br brush pens, I actually use two different shades: one for the um the background and and the glass, and I use a darker one for the LEDs, which I think also helps it stand out. 
Oh yeah, one thing that did work well was drawing Fergus to the eye. I think that was pretty successful. But they are Faber Castell Peach Artist Pens, and um, I actually got them as a present. So it was like a set of um, grey markers, and they had warm grey and cool greys. But but these ones were a cold grey, um, cold grey I I I that cold grey three two three two. That's the serial number anyway. And then there was a cold grey four, which was two three three. So I'm, I'm assuming the numbers are referring to, um, they probably have like brush pens in all colours maybe, but anyway. I quite like using brush pens for backgrounds, especially now that I've realised that you can do really cool textures, but I think when you use them to like just shade or something, it doesn't quite work out as well, just because um, with the way they layer, like you can very clearly see like the difference between where it's one layer and two layers, and then so if you try and like shade something with it, it'll it'll look really really rough, and I don't like it at all. But they're pretty good for working fast. Like it's definitely a lot faster than doing in the solid black backgrounds with the solid black backgrounds with the same texture and a black pen. So, um, so I'm going to try. I should be able to film videos for the next three days, four days maybe. But I mean. Every now and then I might not be able to do one because I am back at school now, meaning that I'm going to have an increased workload and I'm going to be out for most of the day. But we'll see how I go. As, as, I, as I've already mentioned, if I ever miss a video, I will um, do a quick segment at the beginning like I did at the start of this video just to show the drawings I did because I am definitely still doing the drawings. And like I know a lot of people, some people have already backed out of the, backed out of the challenge already, but I mean... I'm really determined to finish it and it's been a re really wonderful experience so far, so don't worry, I will finish it, I will. <laughs> so I'm almost at the end of the video, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you liked this video, um, don't forget to leave a like or, or comment and if you and if you really liked it, um, you can su subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me, um, you, can su you can do that on my Patreon. and. Good gosh, am I in desperate need of supporters? I think I'm down to like zero or one supporter, maybe. So, yeah, check that out. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.